What is good, Greg Gang? Today's video, it's gonna be fun. We've never done anything like it. We have drew our inspiration from one of my favorite YouTube channels, Yes Theory. We're gonna let my Instagram followers dictate what we do for today. And we're gonna be doing it on the stories. We're gonna give them a little poll. It looks something like this right here. This is actually the first one. And regardless to whatever my Instagram followers choose, that's what we have to do. And we're only gonna give them five minutes to choose. So here we go. I'm gonna put up the first poll. It is hunting or fishing. Okay, Gray Yang, today's video, we're actually gonna be using you guys, my Instagram followers. You guys are gonna choose, and regardless to whatever you guys choose, that's what we have to do. Okay, guys, it's definitely been over five minutes. All right, here we go, let's see what we got, let's see what we got. 65% chose hunting. Hey, boys, looks like we're going hunting today. I believe it's time for the next poll. Let's see, what should I do? I'm thinking squirrel hunting, and I'm thinking bird hunting. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, Gray Yang, it's been about five minutes. Six minutes, actually, my bad. Here's what we got. We got squirrel hunting. Squirrel versus bird, 67 to 33%. The last one was actually 65 to 35, so it seems like the losers are being pretty consistent right now. But right now, guys, I'm gonna go take this white off, take my fishing hat off. Now it's up to, are we gonna use a shotgun or a 22? So I've came in the house. I have both of my top squirrel hunting guns. Shotgun, 22. Honestly, the shotgun's definitely gonna kill them better, but this will definitely be more of a challenge. As for which one we're taking today, well, let's skitter pop right over to Instagram and see what y'all think. Here we go, putting it on the story, and we're locked. Checking the results, 22 LR barely winning 56% to 44, but still, a win is a win. Let's start loading it up. We're gonna go with some mini Mac 22 LRs right here. And, and as for the gun itself, this is my Marlin, you know? <laughs> Let's go use it though. No need to waste any time in the house. Okay guys, so I'm actually on the road right now. I'm going to my squirrel hunting spot. Look up. Boom. There's a stinking rabbit right there. But guess what? Too bad. The options were not squirrel or rabbit hunting. They were squirrel or bird hunting. And a rabbit is not a squirrel. And that is a verifiable fact. But we actually are at our hunting spot. Not very far at all. There's a ton of squirrels out here. This tree right here it usually has some. But, you know, they've probably done ran away if they're here. But all through this road right here, there's a ton of squirrels. So let's just go ahead. We got the little 22 long rifle right here. I'm going to go ahead and get started there. All right, let's go. Here we go, guys. They could be anywhere through here. There could be tons of them. We're really only going to go for one since this is like an Instagram challenge. We're not exactly going to go and try to kill or limit. We're just out here having fun right now, guys. I can hear some. I can hear some right over there. There's one up in that tree. I s there he is. He's right there. Okay, guys. Plot twist, guys. I got on my phone just to, you know, see what the results were. Look at this. Right now, the results have changed. Actually, 52% want the shotgun, but that wasn't part of the game, guys. The game was after five minutes, we'd take the result. And after five minutes, the 22 was winning. And it's already too late, guys. We can't change your options. But that right there, that is just a fun little part of the game. But there really is a squirrel up here. And I should probably stop talking. He's right up there. I don't know if y'all can see him. I'm going to zoom in and try to get some shots of him with the camera. Because he doesn't act it, it, because he doesn't act too scared right now, and I don't I'm not sure if he really knows that I'm here. Or even if he does know I'm here, I don't think he thinks I'm hunting. Oh, here he is. There he is, there he is. He's right in there. See him? See him, there he goes, there he goes. There he goes. Let's see if we can see him again. Guys, that squirrel is in that tree. Because there's so many leaves and we're at a decent distance and we only have a 22, I don't think I can make that shot. So I'm gonna have to go on down there, guys. I'm gonna have to sneak in the woods. I'm gonna have to be really quiet. And we're just, I'm just gonna have to sneak up on him and take the shot with the 22. Here's the problem. I don't have a GoPro right now. All I have is this camera. So somehow I'm gonna have to video everything, even the shot with this camera it's not gonna be easy but guys we just gotta do it i just gotta i just gotta send it and that's exactly what i'm about to do ah! hashtag silent battle cry but anyways guys i'm moving in and this is about to get exciting Mr. Squirrel, this just got serious. Okay, guys, he 
he's right here in this tree. We're not very far from him at all. Like, he's right on top of us. He's right up there. He's right up there. I'm going to have to take the shot, guys. I don't think I can really get this part on camera, but I'm just going to lean y'all up over here because... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my... Oh. I got to take the shot, guys, before I die. This man is out to kill me. Got him. Eat that, big boy. Throw another acorn at me. I bet that didn't feel too good, did it? I love that 22, guys. As much as I like a shotgun, if you can get a good rest on a tree, that 22 will rock their world. And this is what I was talking about. Look at all these nuts. That is insane. The whole forest floor is littered with them. He's right over here is where I shot him out. I don't think I got the one that threw the nut at me, but I definitely got one of them. I got one of his dang tribal members. And I think I may have even got a head shot, if not a neck shot. But uh, he's here somewhere. He, he shriveled up and just clung to the tree. Okay, where's he at? There he is. Yep. Right over there. Kill confirmed. Takedown confirmed. I don't know if he's dead yet, but he ain't moving. So I think he's dead. Here he is. Let's poke him. All right, kill confirmed, boys. He's down. Headshot. Yes. Hashtag accuracy. That'll go a long way on a squirrel hunting catching cook. That'll definitely go a long way. I'm trying to cross my own barbed wire fence here. I don't, I'll be honest, I don't even know why we have a barbed wire fence. I own both sides of the land. But I guess that's not really a problem because I got the squirrel, baby. I got the squirrel. Where's the meat? Oh, it's right here. Okay, guys. Day's not over. Hunt successful. Now, are we going to take a hike or are we going to go set a trail camera? Okay, guys. Let's see what we got on the trail camera or hiking. 38% said hike, 62% said set the trail camera. I guess that's exactly what we'll do. We got the trail camera right here, and actually what I done is I just got done skinning that squirrel, full body skin, it was perfect, but I still had the feet and the guts and the head, so here's what we're gonna do. Instead of just setting that trail camera in a path, or maybe baiting it with some corn, we're gonna target specifically predators. And we have all the food right here. Well, food for them. It ain't food for me. It's, the, it's all the scraps off the squirrel that humans can't eat, but we're gonna go put that out in front of the camera, and and hopefully, we're going to get some pictures of some predators. That way, we can target the predators before the predators target my chickens. As for locations is where we're going to set this trail camera, I decided to come right back here where I actually put that roadkill deer. And I put the roadkill deer right there. It's gone. And like, I'm, I'm serious about this. It is gone. Like, I don't even see bones except one bone. Okay. One bone. All I see is one jawbone, and that's literally it. And there's some hair right there, but besides that, it doesn't even look like there's been anything here. Like, the leaves aren't even disturbed. It looks just like everything else, but it's kind of hard to believe that there was a dead deer there not very long ago at all, but it's completely gone now. I guess that's a good thing, because that means that predators are definitely in the area. But then it's kind of a bad thing, because I also have chickens in the area. I'm just going to dump out all the squirrel stuff. Right there, that should be good. That should be very good for them. They should have a field day with that. And then I believe I'm gonna set the trail camera on that tree right there. Oh my gosh, I'm a tree hugger. <laughs> and so here's what we got, the meat pile right there. I've got the trail camera strapped on the tree. It should be looking directly at it. And one really good thing about this particular location is even if something, you know, eats that the first night, we're still gonna get pictures of whatever travels on this road and possibly whatever travels up there in that bean field. Well, it used to be a bean field last year. Now it's basically just weeds. But let's come on in here. Let's uh, set this trail camera. It's kind of a new one, you know, kind of getting used to it. Let's set it up, see what we can do. We're gonna set it to just picture mode. And I mean, there we go. I'm just going, there we go. Um, uh, it is set. And right now it should be counting down. 
It is set. Yep, it's definitely counting down. All right, here we go, guys. This is super awesome. Today's video, it's getting dark right now. I can just about see the moon, but today's video has been awesome. I just want to ask you guys, if you're not a part of the Gray Gang, if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe for me. Smash the subscribe button. And if you are in the Gray Gang and you want to support the Breast Cancer Awareness merch right here, this is one of the shirts. It's the KG logo with the Breast Cancer Awareness ribbon in the back. We also have Gray Gripper care packages. It's this right here and both the shirt and the Grey Gripper both comes with a bracelet. And one of the great things about this particular merch is whenever you buy it, not only are you helping the Grey Gang yourself by getting you some merch, but you're also helping breast cancer awareness because a percentage of the proceeds of all the breast cancer awareness merch is going directly to the BCRF, Breast Cancer Research Foundation. We've done the same thing last year, donated to the same people last year, and we're just going to keep it going. This is the second annual breast cancer awareness event. If you want to pick some up, it is at kendallgray1.com slash shop or link in the description. And thanks to all my Instagram followers out there for participating in today's event. Thanks for all my YouTube subscribers out there for also kind of participating in the event. I just want to say I've had a great time out here and guys, adios amigos. What's good, Grey Gang? Did y'all like today's video? Because if so, go down, hit the like button, show Kendall some love. And if you like Kendall's merch, you know where to get it at kendallgray1.com slash shop. Hashtag Jesus, hashtag Grey Gang.